Today we're going to talk about tractor cross draw bars for the three-point crash course and some tips and tricks. So here we go. I've got category one, two, and three cross draw bars here. And the term category has to do, it describes the, the diameter of this pin end piece here. So the bigger the category, the bigger the diameter of this piece is going to be. And there's other categories too. I think they make a category zero. But I'd say probably ones and twos are probably the most common. Uh, three is getting into bigger tractors, and a, a zero would be for very small subcompact tractors. So let's say you've got a uh, tractor, but the wrong cross draw bar. You can bushing them out, right? So this is category one bushinged out to a two. Here's a two bushinged to a three. You just don't want to overdo it and uh, have your draw bar fail on you. So to install it, just take it. This is a Massey Ferguson 1080. It's got category two swivel balls here. Slide in that side, slide in the other side. Try not to drop the camera. And take the linchpins, install, linchpin, install, and there you go. Now there, for the different widths and stuff, there is some play in these lift arms to swivel to accommodate the some different variations in the widths of the cross draw bars but uh, for the most part you'll use the standard length there's also different hole counts for depending on what application you want how many holes you'll need um, to keep this these arms from swiveling you've got chains here and then they also make uh, brackets that stabilize from here to the arm to keep it from swiveling so much these lift arms are sometimes called the two point because you're not using the the top link as well so that's some tricks for using the cross draw bars are there different terms or uh, names in your area for what they call these here we call them cross draw bars